Hello there guys, it's me Unstable Voltage. Welcome back to episode 3 of Civilization 6 as England. We are going to try and go for a cultural victory in this game. Uh, I did decide that what I wanted to try and do was... Um, is that a great profit already? Uh, refuse deal. I did decide that what I wanted to try and do was take Kyoto because it's quite a nice city here. Um, what unit is that? So our warrior here has taken quite a beating. I can't really get him into a decent protected spot right now, which is a little bit unfortunate. So we might well uh, might well end up losing this guy. Um, I can't really move my archer into a spot where I can take any decent shots. This guy up here, he can't do anything either. So I think he just needs to fortify. Losing that warrior would be a real shame, but really I can't move. I will try and move him back. He might get lucky and survive. We'll move around with this archer and at least we can take a shot at this warrior. Now this archer is on a hill. I'm going to take some shots at the city simply because if I move forward, I will be in danger of being attacked by two warriors and I'd rather that not happen. The city doesn't have walls yet. Um... He has completed Stonehenge. Excellent. So we would actually manage to get Stonehenge if we uh, manage to take this. And I'm actually quite glad that the archer took that attack because it meant, means our warrior manages to um, survive another day. So we'll go ahead and... The poets have been mysteriously silent on the subject of cheese. So we could change our policies here, but we don't have the better um, government type yet. So we're not going to bother changing that. Uh, we are going to finish you off with the archer. Hopefully that'll finish you off. That allows you to heal up. And in the meantime, you can just continue to fire at the city. Although you're probably not going to do enough damage to really affect the city in any meaningful way. We need to choose a new civic. Um, I think we need to get state workforce first, don't we? Yeah, we need state workforce. That'll allow us to get political philosophy. So that is what we will do. We'll keep exploring around. They just keep getting extra units, which I don't particularly like. Um, you do have a spare luxury, which would be nice. But let's go ahead and take that. It's going to give us a little bit of extra money. So we'll be able to get some um, builders out, hopefully. So yeah, I don't like you building more warriors. I'm definitely going to have to... Um, back off with this guy it's a little bit risky no I don't want to speak to you I'm trying to click on my warrior so let's just back out a little bit we need to sort of just farm up some of his units I think so you just sort of defend you keep looking around you can now you're on a hill aren't you yeah so you just keep attacking this guy if you can we may need another archer. You've got a promotion, so at least if he attacks you, we can get an instant heal. Let's go on to the next turn. He really is producing a lot of units. He desperately wants to try and get rid of me. He's um, offering me some stuff to make peace. I'm still going to refuse, I think. I still think I can take him. If he gets walls, that situation might change. But at the moment, uh, there's still a potential here. Uh, we'll have iron working in, like, two more turns. Although we don't have any iron yet, I suppose. So let's just heal up. Keep scouting. So, yeah, I think we might need to sort of back up. Now, then, is this a hill? It is not. Can we kill you? Yes, we can. But we've got a promotion. Let's take that promotion. Because that will give us more combat strength anyway. Everybody else can just heal up for now. And it looks like he's buying these units. So he's going to run out of money quickly if he's if he's trying to do that. We might just have to back up a lot. If it does look like we are going to lose at that point, then we may well... Um, at that point, we may well just peace out. So you can kill that unit off there. You gain some more XP. You could potentially... You would get a ma major defeat if you attack there. But let's just uh, continue to fortify. And you'll just continue to scout. So we'll see what happens. 
Yeah, as expected, he's going to attack the archer. That is what I thought he would do. So we did take a little bit more damage there, but we can back off and take another Everything shot. Has its limit. Iron ore cannot be educated into gold. A strong economy begins with a strong, well-educated workforce. So we could actually change our production and get um, the production towards ancient classical wonders. We would lose one faith per turn and one gold in the capital, but that's not that big of a deal right now. And it would mean that we would be able to get the uh, Hanging Gardens in uh, a few fewer turns. It's not going to make a lot of difference now because we are nearly done. But it won't take long to get the next uh, next Civic. Um, what I'm going to do is back out with this guy because I don't want him to die. Uh, we would get a major victory if we attacked this warrior. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, yep, you can keep scouting. And what about if we attack you here? It's a bit of a stalemate. Yeah, we really need to get some iron. We've got a promotion on this guy. And we should have zone of control. So he shouldn't actually be able to kill this archer. At least I'm hoping he can't. Uh, choose our research. We want to try and get sailing. Because we're going to want to try and improve the pearls here. We need to choose a new civic, which is going to be political philosophy. And go on to the next turn. You're actually attacking the archer. Now, I don't think... Can you kill it? Ah, he's killed my archer. How annoying. Oh, well, that was a bit disappointing, but I think we can uh, recover from that. Now, I did say originally that the whole purpose of trying to take Kyoto here was that it would be cheaper than buying another settler. However, if I keep losing units, that's not going to be the case. Let's go ahead and give you Battle Cry. You'll get a full heal, and you'll be able to do more damage. We've also got um, horsemen up here next to London, which is not ideal. Can we purchase a unit? No, because it's 200 gold for an archer. Could attack the city. Not too sure whether or not he will. But yeah, we've left our city unguarded. I really do want to take Kyoto, though. Especially now that he has Stonehenge in there. But we definitely need another archer anyway. Um... We'll, uh, we'll give it one more turn. That horseman isn't going to be able to take our city in a single uh, single turn. So we'll see what we can do. Unit needs orders. We could attack you. We might as well. I suppose any XP is XP. You guys can just all heal up. Because you really need to do that. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to find anything exciting over there. The ascent to the highest story is by stairs. And at their side are water engines, by means of which persons, appointed expressly for the purpose, are continually employed in raising water from the Euphrates into the garden. So we've got the Hanging Gardens. That is very, very nice. So what we would like to do now in production is go ahead and get... Um, what are we about? Well, walls would be good, but I think we want the archer. It's only three turns to get an archer, and we want to be able to start taking out some of those units that are giving us hassle. Uh, we don't want to go too close to Japan, so we might go back up to the north and see what we can find. You can continue to heal. We'll get everybody healed up. Go on to the next turn. He still wants to offer me peace. He's offering me quite a bit of stuff. It'd be quite nice, but I just really, really would like his capital. And I think it, someone's got a, a religion, because I am seeing it being uh, being spread over there. So two more turns, we'll get that archer. Nine turns over here, we'll get the monument. We've still got some amenity issues, so we will need to try and get a builder out as quickly as possible. Okay, you're now fully healed. Uh, you still have a warrior in the capital, but he's not going to do an awful lot. On to the next turn, then. See, he's buying uh, buying more units again. Oh no, he's got his walls now. That's annoying. It is not that life ashore is distasteful to me, but life at sea is better. Okay. Divide and rule, a sound motto. Unite and lead, a better one. So let's go and change our government type. So, capital receives plus one boost to all yields. That could be useful. Experience for extra combat units. And all melee units gain seven combat strength. That could be good as well. Um, it does unlock one extra policy slot for us there. Do we really want the extra military one? I think oligarch is the best one here. 
So what we can then do is um, two influence points per turn towards city-states. And I guess great writer points are actually going to be very good for us. So let's go ahead and do that. Also, we've finished the wonder. So let's go back towards um, faith and gold. So we will do that. So yeah, you're, you've got walls now, which changes things, I'll admit. Uh, we want to attack you. Don't normally have this much trouble taking a city from someone. Maybe I just need a bit of a larger army. Um, I guess I could peace out with him. But I think what I'll just do is back up and heal. And we'll get some more units. We'll definitely be able to uh, take him on. So that's not too much of a problem. Uh, what would we like here? The wheel, because we definitely like to get water mills where we can. Choose a new civic. Uh, let's go for games and recreation. Because then we could get some amenities going. Choose a production in London. Now London needs a lot of things, but I think what it actually needs is another archer. If we can get some decent ar some units going, then uh, we can deal with all of the barbarians and such. We can deal with Japan. I'm almost tempted to take his offer. But no, because I still want to take his city. It's a good city. If we take it, we'll get Stonehenge, we'll get iron, we'll get horses. I think it's worth having. Most of our units are sort of getting uh, some promotions now, so we'll just make sure everybody gets healed up. We need to continue to attack this horseman. Didn't quite kill it off that time around. Someone has completed the oracle. That's fine. Not something that I was interested in. Uh, we are seeing Greek scouts, but I don't know where um, he actually is. So you can move over here. I'm just trying to find spaces where I'm going to be able to get everybody into position to actually attack the city. A eureka moment there on machinery. Now we're not at war with you, are we? No, that is a good thing. So, let's make sure we finish off that Barbarian. Start to move down here with the Archer. So, we're going to want you down here. You can move up. You can move over here. They've got a Slinger. We can get rid of you. Nicely done. And I think we're actually going to get one more archer before we do anything else. I know we need builders. There's lots of stuff that we do need. You're attacking me with your slinger. That is cute. Love to be able to steal your trade route, but we're just going to get the... Uh, we'll kill the slinger. Now, we can be shot at by the... Um, is that an actual... No, it looks like a farm. I thought that was an encampment, but I don't think that it is now that I look at it. Um, so let's start moving out with you guys. Still slow going with the scout. Having a scout that only moves like one tile per turn is really slow. So this war is going to take a little bit of time, but I literally only want that one city. If I can get one city from him, I will be happy. Uh, what are we working over here in Newcastle now? There's definitely some better tiles we could be working. Um... Locking the growth is a little bit pointless because we have problems with the amenities. So let's just go on to the um, production. Then we would be starving, so we can't get away with doing that. So it looks like we do have to keep working that tile. Okay, never mind. Thought it was worth checking on. Um, but you have finished building something. We could get another settler. Um... A granary would be good for you for food and housing. But I think we actually get that trader now because we really do need one. Uh, we keep moving down with um, these units, I guess. You can hit. You've got a promotion, actually. So let's just give you more ranged strength. Shame it's not actually against uh, buildings, but that's fine. So I don't want to move in with the melee units until we actually have some range down here to do the damage. 
There we go. We've got ourselves another archer. So you're going to get down here onto this hill. You're going to move down to there. You are going to move somewhere. I don't know where yet. So now that is finally done. There's a lot of stuff we would like. We are definitely going to need to get another builder. So let's go and work on that. And then we'll just need to go and buy this tile over here. Uh, which we can do. We need to repair the food as well. Um, but we're going to go and buy that tile. Because then we'll have a luxury resource. Uh, in the meantime, you're just going to sort of have a look around and see what you can see. Shame we can't fire at that missionary. But um, stay there for now, I guess. Just in case you see any additional units. You're going to keep looking around. We might come down this way, actually. See what we can find. So yeah, let's sort of have, have a look down here through the gap in the mountains. On to the next turn. Because I've sort of just told all my units to move now. I'm not really having to do much manually. Not too happy about that um, settler being down there, um, Grease. You might want to reconsider where you're moving that. If he's going all the way south, though, that's not too bad, I suppose. But yeah, we do want to definitely keep moving in with these uh, these archers. We've got an envoy that we can send. Um, Preslab, how are things doing here? You are only influenced by one civilization. Um, we would get strength when... Oh, it's only for light heavy cavalry units. That's not all that useful. Um, but production in every encampment district producing units could be good for us. And we're already close to becoming your suzerain anyway, so we might as well do it. At least we'd... And where are you? You are here, the other side of um, Japan. So that actually brings you into our war, which could potentially help us out here. Uh, you're going to continue to have a look around. Now, this is... I know his... Um, Greece's agenda is um, like civilizations that aren't competing for the same city-state allegiance. But if we go and have a look at the city-states, Preslav is only influenced by us. So how are we competing for the same city-state? That is That I do not understand. Um, cheers. <laughs> Let's go ahead and do that nice and easy. If we can even move back. That was just like a, a, fr a free... Free kill there, um, Japan. What are you doing? Yeah, not too sure where he's going with that settler, but that may be something we have to sort out in time. Let's get you moved on to the hill. I mean, unfortunately, you will take a little bit of um, damage from doing that, but we do need to start moving these units in because we need to be able to start taking some shots. So it's going to take a little while to get anywhere, but we've got to do it. No, nope, nothing down here. There are a few more barbarian camps. Plenty of the map to still um, uncover. Yeah, he still wants to um, pay me off, but I'm still going to try and take his capital if I can. Yeah, I think Greece is going to go and settle here. Don't reinvent the wheel. Just realign it. So now we've got the wheel, we can build the water mill. Um, the next thing we probably want to get is... Probably... I mean, we haven't even got astrology yet. We could, we definitely want to... We could try and get a holy site. We can get one in our second city next to the wonder. I don't suppose that's a bad idea. Um, you have finished that builder, finally. Um, we want uh, walls and we want the granary. So let's go ahead and get the walls. First thing we're going to go and do is um, repair that. And then we'll go back and get the, um, the other thing that we need. I can't remember. The pearls. So we're going to try and move in with as many of these units as we can. He shouldn't be able to hold out too long once we get a few of those units in. Let's just sort of surround him with warriors. 
Yes, as long as he as long as he starts picking on one unit, because I can just back that unit up and we'll be fine. The first necessity of life, recreation is a close second. So I don't think I want to change any of my policies. Let's make sure we sort of get this war sorted out first. So we put you up here on the hill. Um, is this a hill here? It is. But if we can get you up on this hill, you'll be fine. So you're going to take shots at the city. You are going to move out and heal up. Choose a new civic. Let's go ahead and get um, military tradition over and done with. You're now going to move down here because we want to go and grab the pearls. So we've actually grabbed... We've got diamonds. I guess we got diamonds from the city-state. So that sorted out some of our problems. We don't want to start beating our heads against the uh, city walls here with these units. So we will um, fortify. Yeah, there is a barbarian camp over there. It might be that the um, that Preslav have done some damage to them. So we'll go and have a cheeky little look. They are sending a lot of units that way. Uh, didn't look like the city actually hit anything on that turn. So that's my cue to go ahead and uh, start firing at them with everything I've got. Uh, we could go ahead and get the promotion there, but we might wait until we've taken damage. The promotions that we can get don't give us any additional damage against um, cities themselves, so that's a little bit uh, pointless. But yeah, we want to get you down here, and we're going to go and get that. Oh, can't even move on to the hill, because that would just make things too easy. So they have produced a few more units now. They've got a spearman going on. They've got a warrior there now. I don't believe in astrology. I'm a Sagittarius, and we're sceptical. Right, so... Do we want to take the Spearman out first? We probably do. We can't do a lot of damage to it, unfortunately, but we do have a fair few units around that can all take shots at it. Now, if he tries to attack anybody with this Spearman, the Spearman is dead. So we'll just use this guy and continue to fire at the city. What you've got to remember is the walls won't actually repair. In order to repair the walls, you have to run a project within the city. And you can only do that if the city hasn't taken damage for three turns. Celestial navigation could be good. We could get a dockyard. We pretty much want to get one of those. No, we haven't really started building any of these districts yet, but we will need them. Uh, we can get that on the next turn. That'll be fine. There is another barbarian camp up there that we do need to clear. Um, a half-dead spearman. Major defeat. Let's just sort of start moving up this way a little. Love to be able to take that spearman out. Let me get rid of that so I can see what's going on. So one of our archers is taking shots. He's trying to peace out with me again. But I've just seen the time and realised that I have gone um, well over what I would normally do for a video. But I will finish off this turn. A lot of stuff going on. Is being the only one who knows you're afraid. Do I want to change any policies here? I don't think I do right now. But we do want to try and take this city. So you are going to go and take a shot there. My other archers are going to bombard the city. I'm not taking my promotions just yet. Uh, we'll give you your promotion. Because that way you will get all of your health back. Uh, we have to choose a new civic. Uh, let's open up the civics tree and see what we want to sort of head towards. Not really sure what we do want to head towards. Military training. We're not really doing a lot of pillaging. Um, defense tactics can be quite useful. Um, so can recorded history. Uh, let's just go ahead and pick up defense tactics. Got some more units needing orders. Yep, you are going to um, get that. Now we are building walls there. So those walls will help us out. You can have a look around up here. 
But yeah, as soon as those walls... We do need to go and clear that camp out, but the walls will be ready in three turns. But that is where I'm going to end the video. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hope you are still enjoying Civilization VI's England. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.